welcome to Ramcast, a Christian podcast designed to encourage believers in their walk with God and to lead the unsaved to Jesus Christ. Hello and welcome to Ramcast, a Bible podcast. Today I'm getting into the topic of speaking the truth in love. Okay, so this is a topical podcast, so it's not like a, it's more of a idea type of podcast, not so much like a notes from the Bible type of podcast, if that makes sense. Some of our other podcasts might be like that, but this one is more topical. So Ephesians chapter 4 verses 10 through 16 says this, he who descended is the one who also ascended far above all the heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness and deceitful schemes. Rather, speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and held together by every joint, with which it is equipped, when each part is working properly, makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love. So the main part I'm focusing on in this passage is the part where it says, speaking the truth in love. So most people, I would say overall, are probably wired more peacemakers um, or more in the sense that they want to be friends with others. They want to be loved. They want to be accepted by others. And that involves being kind to them because as a Christian, we are supposed to show love to others, even those who maybe rub us the wrong way. But where it says, speak the truth in love, a lot of people who are more wired like that, more, you know, they want to be friends with people, they don't want to cause conflict. When you say speak the truth, sometimes there are things that need to be said. There's truth that needs to be said, but, you know, I don't want to offend anybody. Again, sometimes you need to speak the truth. But the thing is, it, didn't just, it did not just say speak the truth. It said speak the truth in love. So then you have other people like me, very truth-centered, fact-centered. This needs to be said. So all this to say we need to speak the truth in love, and we need God's strength to do that because no person is perfect. A lot of us are either more centered on being loving. Maybe we're more inclined to do that. But to speak the truth, you know, somebody might get offended. It's kind of uncomfortable for me. And then there's people who speak the truth. But then it's like, but they just don't say it very lovingly. They're just kind of like, here's the truth and you're right. But uh, speak the truth in love. That's what Jesus did here on earth. He spoke the truth. He was clear about that. He did not you know, lie and try to displease people, he spoke the truth. Like one thing that he said was he was the son of God. To say that, that was very controversial. To say, I am God. But it was true, because he is God. So he spoke the truth, but he did it in a loving way. And we need to do the same. So I hope this podcast was a good reminder for you. Uh, If you enjoyed it, please follow the Ramcast Bible Podcast. We are a Christian podcast that wants to give glory to God. I'm not a preacher. I'm not a pastor. I'm not a Bible expert. 
I am simply a growing Christian who wants to encourage other believers in their walk with God and lead unbelievers to the salvation that Jesus Christ alone can bring. You all have a great day. Thanks for listening. We hope this podcast was a blessing to you. If so, please leave a comment down below. To support us, please subscribe or follow depending on what platform you're listening to us on.